Hello and welcome Pisces. Let's take a look at your cards. Let's have some fun with it. Let's see if there's any inspiration that you gain from the cards or maybe a creative solution. Uh, maybe it prompts some reflection in a certain way or a certain area of your life. So just stay open. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see how the story unfolds. So we have the message of stillness. So this usually can mean that you are taking some time out for stillness, for reflection or introspection, making space for a calm and quiet time uh, mentally or emotionally. Maybe you are turning off your phone. Maybe at the moment this is something you are wanting to do or are doing. You're turning off your phone. You allow the world to rush on past for a while and you're not noticing those things because you're wanting to dip your soul into peaceful waters. You're wanting to withdraw. You're wanting to have time to do something maybe individually, do something solo. How does that resonate for you? So we have blessings. Beautiful. So Pisces, perhaps recently you've had a surprise blessing or a true blessing on your life is happening right now. And this is a wonderful, um, a wonderful message because you might actually be counting the blessings in your life right now. And this is such a positive thing to do. It really shifts your mindset. It really shifts your perspective on things. So counting, even though when life seems dark, it is still full of blessings waiting to be uncovered. And counting these blessings will bring back the rainbows to your day. So this is a really powerful thing to do. Power in peace. So isn't it interesting how you have this card right below stillness? Stillness and peace. Power in peace. And those who love and practice peace leave beautiful ripples in their wake. Have you ever watched a ripple expand on water? They travel a very long way. And so, yeah, perhaps this is a call to more stillness, more peace. You know, maybe you're making changes in your life in accordance with peace and happiness and ease. Pearls of gratitude. So I love this. It's exactly the same or similar message to the blessings card here because it's about seeing the silver linings. And it is easy to feel thankful when the seas of life are calm. But the storms have uses too. You know, they clear up the air. They often bring treasure from the deep. So look for the pearls beneath the storm. Having gratitude and thankfulness on your heart. I love that. You may be starting to see things really turn around for the better in a certain area of your life. The way out. Perhaps you have found a way out. Um, now that can mean numerous things. So, you know, place, place that message where it fits in your life for you, where you feel it resonates, but the way out, and maybe there's a feeling that something good is on the way. Maybe there's a feeling, maybe you're seeing in your life, a real thing that is good. That's, that's right here, right in your life. Now you might be birthing something new, birthing a new life. It says on this card. So nurturing yourself or a certain project or something in your life that you're wanting to you want to get to grow and develop maybe it's part of learning you're learning through an experience a new experience the key to success so you hold the key here you're opening your heart you're opening the door there's a success or a victory that you have had or that you can see yourself having, that's wonderful. And the key is also if you've been feeling trapped or locked up, if you've been feeling confined, if you've been feeling or you are in a situation that is restrictive, it's about unlocking that and it, it means breakthrough basically. Self-protection, are you needing to put up some boundaries? Have you put in some boundaries with someone? Setting boundaries. Yeah, maybe this is a call to do that. Maybe you've been contemplating it, but you haven't done it yet. And imagination. Yeah, I love this. So your creative mind. Do you have a vision? Uh, do you have a creative vision that, that you want in a particular way? 
And it also says on this card, go the distance. So maybe you're experiencing something for the long term. Maybe you have hope that something's going to go the distance. Maybe you're putting things into place so it becomes a foundation and goes the distance. So yeah, place that energy, that message where it fits. Surrender to receiving support and love. So we all need love and support at certain times in our lives. And perhaps you are accepting of this at the moment and you are allowing the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. Because do you do this often? Do you often want to just handle things yourself? And perhaps you are feeling or needing to have some extra support right now. And by doing this, no matter what it is, emotional support or support in a work sense um, or in your personal life, private life or relationships, you know, this can take the pressure off and it can nurture you. So there's most definitely positives there. Also healing, okay? So healing might be to do with your work. Um, you may be a healer. You might be a... It might be your profession. Um, now, this can also indicate that you are focused on your own healing, emotional or physical healing. It also suggests on this card to be fully open, though. Be open to new things or to perhaps the support of others. You know, it could be connected to this message. Yeah. What are you fearful of? There's something that's holding you back. Surrender your fear of change. So you are cared for and perhaps you are afraid of change, maybe in your job or your health or a relationship, whatever this is. Perhaps you might like to use the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Um, yeah, but, but surrendering your fear of change or surrendering your, surrendering fear in general. And surrender worry. Okay, so fear and worry go hand in hand. You might want to make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life. And maybe, you know, you're, you're excelling in this right now. Maybe you are actively choosing not to fall into anxiety or worry. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body, focus on the power of your heart or focus on something else um, have faith so surrender worry it's kind of allowing rather than resisting maybe acceptance is part of this process Awakening ancient wisdom, this speaks of a past experience that you have learned from. And this deep inner knowing is emerging with you once again. This knowing, this thing you have learned, you are utilizing it. And you're emerging. So emerging, of course, means coming into a newness. And uh, emerging from darkness, depression, whatever is plaguing you, whatever is heavy on your shoulders... You're emerging from this. You're opening up to your imagination, a different reality, something that's going to go the distance and last. Maybe there's been disappointments and loss, and now you're emerging from this stronger, accepting what is. So yeah, this does go back to worry and fear and yeah, accepting what is maybe something that's important. Um, I accept and embrace what is. Embarking on an adventure. So this can indicate travel. Um, perhaps you're, you know, going away from home. Um, it might also mean that there's a journey in life that you're embarking on. Maybe something new, something exciting, something that you're looking forward to. You might also like to look at a certain situation in this way, where it is an adventure, where it's something that can be ultimately positive in your life, rather than thinking about it in a negative way. The two of fire. So planning, preparing, important stuff. Um, you might also be partnering with someone, maybe in business or with work. Um, but yeah, partnering and planning. And you might also be noticing you're making some great progress. 
The Ace of Air is about your thoughts and inspiration that you have and maybe communicating that inspiration. Also, maybe adjustments, maybe some things, mistakes, certain things have come to your mind that you're wanting to change and you're making adjustments. The Seven of Air is about awareness, um, caution, because you're aware of certain things, maybe uh, you might be aware of some consequences as well. So you might be weighing things up, balancing things out, trying to come up with a, a good outcome or a good solution. There may be disappointment or regret. Perhaps forgiveness is part of your journey at the moment. Or emotional upheaval. There is a sense here with the Ten of Fire of being overburdened or pressured in some way. Something's out of balance. Uh, maybe you are stressed. You know, surrender worry is part of this. Uh, maybe you're overworked. You know what this is, though. It does look like, though, you are now planning things differently, organizing things in a different way, restructuring your life in a powerful way, which empowers you, which is exactly what the six of fire represents success, recognition of your successes, perhaps, and maybe building self esteem, maybe making changes to your emotional or situations to change your emotional health or life. Um, and also, physically as well maybe you're overburdened overrun with things to do and you know you're reassessing things you're planning you're preparing you're changing things even though it might be scary there might be fear here there's um yeah ultimately there's this breakthrough which is wonderful that you might be um yeah you might be feeling that at the moment you might be experiencing this breakthrough this empowerment right now it has been wonderful to read for you today Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.